studio. Well, I'm not entirely sure what honeybees do uh, during the winter, but I know that the guys at Bee Kingdom are extra busy this time of year, and that's where Jill's hanging out this morning. Jill? And we are happy to be in the hive here again, once again this year. Our annual visit with the bees from the Bee Kingdom. So great to see you guys. And uh, Phil, this is probably the warmer spot in the city. So yes. we're happy to be here. And especially last week, I mean, it's, it's, it's glorious. It is glorious. So what are you making here this morning? Um, right here, I'm going to make a, what's called a fazoletti, which is a, a wavy bowl okay. that we're making for our open studio weekend this upcoming weekend. Okay, open studio Saturday, Sunday, right? Saturday, Sunday from 12 till 5, and people can find all the information on our website for that. And we're going to be doing live glass blowing demonstrations uh, all day, and there's lots of great Christmas gifts that people can get. So if you don't feel like going to the mall and you want to come and have fun and bring your kids and see some uh, fire and glass blowing, this is the place to to be keep warm yeah awesome this is the place to be let's have a look here at some of the items that you have up for grabs so uh, we've got the wavy bowl as you mentioned and these are some of the unique pieces that you can maybe be putting under the tree this year yeah and uh, it just gives people a really unique opportunity to see something that's a little out of the ordinary yeah. and uh, get away from the mall. Yeah. <laughs> and not fight traffic. Okay, fantastic. Sorry, I interrupted a process here. I know that this is a delicate balance. So what's, yeah. what step are you about to do? Well, right now I can add some air into the piece and yeah. just start to blow it up. Cool. Now, the blowing aspect of this, you're making a bowl. So, so yeah. why would that be part of the step? Well, right now I have it on, on the blowpipe, so this is a, a hollow metal rod. And right now the glass is starting to get a bit cooler, but we inflate it on this rod, and then we actually have to transfer it. And then the whole piece gets spun out. And one of the things that we can use uh, to heat the glass when we're at the bench is this torch. Okay. So I can use the torch for a second. Step back, cameraman Nick. Yeah. So... That's one of the things that always makes me love my job. When you don't feel like getting up in the morning and you get to use a blowtorch, it's like, okay, life that's is life is good. It's cold outside. I have a blowtorch. What more do you need? <laughs> what more do you need? Okay, so how many steps left in this process? Oh, uh, we have a few more. One of the things I can do is I actually, it's starting to get cold, so I have to go over to the reheat station. Okay. I can pass this off to Tim. So Tim is going to heat this up in the reheat station. And uh, that sits at around uh, 1,200 degrees Celsius. Yeah. So it uh, does stay very warm. Okay, awesome. Uh, we're going to follow the steps along here, find out what the bees are up to for the new year. And, of course, the show and sale this upcoming weekend, Saturday, Sunday. This is where you want to be, Tara.